What is up guys, it is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling. Today I'm gonna to be filming two videos and I'm gonna be uploading one today and then one on another day, we shall see. But anyway, before I get into this video, I'm gonna make this very quick. Uh, I just wanna say, yes, I was stuck in Norfolk for an extra day. Yes, I have seen what happened to Zack and the Panda. And yes, Zack will be getting his revenge, but that's not what this video is about today. Anyway, so I've seen a lot of controversy or controversy or however you wanna say it about the result of the AEW All Out World Championship match between Chris Jericho and Hangman Adam Page. I just wanna to say to you guys, a lot of people are shitting on this. They're saying how WWE um, talking about how, like, you know, Brock Lesnar's the champion um, and he's part-time and all that, and Chris Jericho now being the champion of AEW is exactly the same. In my opinion, it's not. Um, I genuinely believe, well, although there is the age difference, everyone's like, oh, we hate old people having the belt. Well, put it, put it this way. Lesnar's like 41, Jericho's 48, but Jericho's still competing every single week. The main difference is Jericho will be at AEW when it's on TV, on TNT, uh, every single Wednesday, whereas Lesnar's not. Um, and right, so I, I'm sort of getting off track. Where do I want to go with this point? <clears throat> right. So I'm starting a new company. Yeah, and I have access to famous wrestlers from all around the world. But a few of these wrestlers are world famous from WWE, the biggest wrestling company. I have booked a match between a talent that's very good, but not globally known. And a match between a wrestler that is very well known across the entire world for my first championship. This is the big title. This is the crowning of the first champion. I'm going to have the champion become the well-established star already. Now, a lot of you guys may be thinking, Joe, why would you do that? This is where you've got to put your businessman like hat on and you've got to think business. If you're taking a risk and putting the championship on someone that not everybody knows, they will eventually become a draw but it will take much longer than it would be if you put it on a well-established star. Bear in mind, AEW, will, it was going to survive whether they put it on Hangman or Jericho, you know what I mean? But they've obviously taken, like, they didn't want to take the risk of putting it on Hangman. They've put it straight on to Y2J. So there you go. They've, they've put the championship on Chris Jericho. Everyone loves a babyface chase and a heel storyline. Everyone. So there's no use in having the big crowning moment of Adam Page being the world champion right before you even started doing weekly TV shows. You want to save that moment until later on, like, you know, maybe this time next year. So I don't think it's a bad thing that Chris Jericho is the champion. I think you guys need to just, you know, put down your keyboards for a minute and just think and look at it. Obviously, you're all entitled to your own opinion. Absolutely. But before everyone starts jumping to conclusions saying, you know, AEW's ruined, they're doing exactly what WWE's done, I think we need to give them a chance. So I'm just saying to you guys, in my personal opinion, I believe that we have nothing to worry about. Um, everyone online is just looking for things to moan about realistically. It's like with NXT moving to the USA and Vince gaining control. They're automatically assuming that NXT is going to be bad now. So they're expecting it to be bad. You guys that don't want Jericho to be champion are now like, you know, bitching about it online. <clears throat> you're expecting this to be bad. So you're automatically going to think in yourself, your conscience or whatever it's called is automatically going to straight away jump to this sucks, even if it doesn't. So give this a shot. It could be good. Um, and I just wanted to let you guys know there's nothing to worry about in my opinion. Um, I think it's always going to be good. Uh, Hangman will eventually get the championship. But I don't see no harm at all whatsoever in putting the championship on a well-established star like Chris Jericho. Although a lot of wrestlers, I saw Baron Corbin wasn't happy with this. He was like, oh, you like you whinge about um, us putting the championship on Lesnar and then you go and do the exact same thing. I really don't think it's the exact same thing. Just because they're both old wrestlers, they're nothing alike. Chris Jericho really wants to help out uh, this new company. Obviously, AEW's new. They, they've only done, what, three shows? So we're just going to have to wait and see. Um, but anyways, I do hope you enjoyed this video. What I want you to take away from this is to just, you know, give this a shot. Um, have a look. Maybe you'll enjoy it. Maybe you won't. Obviously, once again, you're all entitled to your own opinion. But I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. You guys have been awesome. Stay tuned for more wrestling content. And I'll see you in the next video, guys. Goodbye.